morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beta plans for return to its Byzantium. And uh, well, I am trying to get Sarajevo over here in order to let this country surrender, but I also noticed there are other victory points. In the back, a lot less defended. Perhaps I should just try and go for those. And see if we can uh, perhaps finagle some victory points that way. That would be good. Um, so let's go for a new focus. We we are kind of war tired right now, I reckon, my country. So let's go for this. We have two little resources. We know that we've captured some new factories. New factories. Lovely. So let us go on this route. And yeah, they are now cutting them off, which is fine by me because that might mean that they will leave Sarajevo alone. No, they have replaced that. That's unfortunate. Why don't you go fly the coast, I wonder? Mm, there's one unit here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Nope. Stop. You have to go around this man, because he's gonna cut you off. Right now. Yeah, he is gonna cutting you right off. And that's going to be a problem if we don't watch out. Yep, lack of supply for this unit. And Albania has agreed! I didn't even realize. How wonderful! Um. Well. Let's put you immediately to work. That is what caused us to have... Oh, wrong army. That's what caused us to suddenly have extra troops. But this mountaineer troop here is now awfully stuck. So we need to get him liberated very quickly. He should not go into any battles because he's just going... He's not going to survive that right now. Um... Well, if we end this war... Quickly and would be amazing. He's currently holding out, but yo, if you could just attack Sarajevo right now, that would be awesome. And we all moving in troops to a rescue. Let's go in. We don't want these mount brave mountaineers with their destruction uh, play to lose their lives. Yep, move in. There we go. And Sarajevo! Whoa, it seems to be falling to almighty Byzantium troops. Byzantine troops, I should say. Uh oh, we are losing that other battle. But we are sending in reinforcements. Reinforcements that will give us supplies, and moreover, we are about to crush them. There we go. Send the troops. These brave people will survive, and we are about to get Sarajevo, and thus the war and Byzantium has grown quite nicely. Um, actually, I did not never put you on the front, so you never came to aid us, the Albanian troops. But it doesn't matter anymore. We will take Macedonia and Montenegro. That's the first thing. Secondly, we will... um. Oh crap, we aren't, of course. Donna, this time we aren't fascist yet, so we can't take everything yet. That is rather unfortunate. Um, enter. First take this. Right. Um... Well, let's take Morava as well, then, in that case. Now, what we could do, um, instead of that... Liberate Serbia. But it, it, it lowers the world tension, but it doesn't look like it's liberating it. That's kind of weird. And... Done? 
Yes, all right, so Syria has been liberated and Yugoslavia is there, but now they're not our puppets. Oh my, that is really annoying. We don't have puppets. Because we haven't turned fascist yet. We have conquered so quickly that we kind of forgot that... Yowza. Um, what are we going to do about that? Actually, thanks to our uh, liberation of Serbia, the world tension isn't that high. Um, I guess we're going to have to get them later. It's not like they ever helped us a lot anyways. But it's noticeable. Yugoslavia and Serbia are all there, but they aren't our puppets. Hmm. That is annoying. <laughs> um. Yeah, we haven't turned fascist quick enough in order to puppet them. And they hate us right now. I can understand that. Uh, but we have a peace treaty. Until February of 37, for a while we can't attack. You know what, when we go fascist we will attack again, I guess. And that's the best thing I can say. But then we will have to really push deeply into them, because now they have a total of... Ooh! This is five. And this is 6 in total, so we could get 6 here, but they have more than 50%, right? They have 60. So yeah, we would need to get Zagreb, Sarajevo and Split in order to win. Mm, it will be easy to get Serbia on our side though, because Belgrade will be very, very easy to gain, I am sure of it. You guys, get to this... No, wait, what? Hold up. I think, actually, the first thing I want you to do is that you guys get ready for war with Turkey. If we are going to go for the very rapid expansion, we might want to do it this way. And... The funny thing now is, actually, we need not go fascist. Do we want to change our strategy here? Because we are going fascist now slowly, but with Yugoslavia and Serbia not our little puppets. This is also kind of interesting. 30%, 30%, 20% and 20 It is... Serbia is quite... Well, divided in what it likes. Oh, he's even retreating. Uh, guys. All these armies... All these fronts are gone. Thank you. Go to the, the Turkish front. All of you, go to your designated fronts. Reclaiming Anatolia would be the next step, I think. And then possibly, um, by that time we probably need, um, well, to more or less... Hmm... Yeah, the fact that we are not fascist and cannot puppet anything does make us a lot less powerful. How much world tension have we created? 8.1% only. That's kind of funny. We haven't even taken all the states that we could have owned because we didn't take Morava. Because Morava is only like 4 steel and... Well, all of these things are considered non-core states, so I don't really think Morava is very powerful, and it does give us a claim right now. I just noticed. No war girl to justify a war declaration. What? Well, we have a claim on Morava. That's kind of awkward, but alright. It's a good thing to keep in mind. Well, that definitely turned out a bit different than last time, now didn't it? With Well, Albania did surrender, which is Kinda awesome, but um, Yugoslavia and Bosnia are not our puppets. Hmm. Oh, 
well, once we go fascist, or what have you not, well, then... <laughs> World tension my ass, right? So we'll just attack them then again for whatever the hell, and make them puppets then. In fact, it could actually be very nice, because if we go to Italy over here, they actually have claims on Yugoslavia, which they could do, and then they could might want to attack it. Now we don't have a problem with that. I'm almost considering firing off fascist guy. You know, and stopping with the whole effort altogether. You, for some reason, removed my destroyer. Don't know why. Because we still want them, and for some reason we lost a factory. Were those factories in Morava? That is a disadvantage. Hmm. We'll have to see. It is still mm, a nice Byzantium, I would say. And, well, let's see how Turkey is going to react to us once we claim their stuff. Um, infrastructure 1. Should we go for reclaiming Anatolia? That would be... That would be in line with currently what we are doing. Claiming and attacking immediately, though. With Romania, I think I will wait just a wee little bit. Because last time around, that took us quite a bit of manpower and trouble. And currently... Well... It could be difficult, so... The question is, are we going to remove... Remove... This man from power, fascism on the rise, because if we do... We might be able to still form a block with... These guys. After we create our own faction. That could be true. Let's go totally different this round. round. We are not fascist, yeah? We're gonna keep Metaxas in power. Uh, we're gonna go with... A compassionate gentleman. It's, I don't know, it's either him or the uh, war industrialist. Compassion gentleman it is, then. Well, uh, we're sorry, we're sorry, we just want all the history back. We have stopped with going fascist. Now, that is something different, isn't it? Um, and if we want to go communist or whatever you not later on, there is now a chance that we will be able to do so. And seeing 37 is rolled around, we immediately can go for extra concentrate industry. This could be fun. This could be fun. A non aligned faction and we could get Turkey into it and Serbia and we could actually get the people around it into it because they are non aligned. And Hungary is I think standard fascist, yes. It does mean that nationalist Spain is not a natural ally to us. Getting a good ally is going to be difficult. Poland is a possible ability, but I think Poland is rather bad to ally yourself with, considering it's a... Uh, <clears throat> well, imminent doom from all sides. Let's go with reclaiming Anatolia. Let's go with the war plan that we... With the plan that we already had in... in Stole for us that we want to reclaim all that is Byzantium. And the offensive line for you goes to the port. I want Brown Army. Your offensive line is to. Who? Oh, Alright. Oh. To go like this. Make the front smaller. And purple, you are gonna go. Sorry, that is the uh, front line. I want the offensive line. Fuankar. Like this. Yeah, and I know that is too big with six divisions, but... Eh, you know what, Let, let's make sure that they didn't understand what I really want from them. So let's remove this. I want you to really focus on Ankara. Alright. We have our battle plans for Turkey. Amazing. 
Oh wait, this is dumb because we can't pop at them. Oh, perhaps we're just going to... Well, you know what, perhaps this is just funny and just take all of Turkey. Right? Not everything has a core state, I know, I know, but... If we are neutral... We don't... We, we don't really need it, right? And, well, with the 35% fascists, it is logical that, well... People want to recreate Byzantium. It is uh, a, a little bit more divided country, but it could be fun like this. Trying to play as a neutral nation and see what we happen. Because that also makes us way more swingable. We can now, uh, I think, even join whatever the f heck faction we want after a certain moment. Uh, different ideology. Greece is not, in, in, is not neighboring the faction. Alright, that's one. Base reluctance. Soviet's opinion of us is bad? Well, we can improve that. And different ideology. Okay, so we can't really join it willy-nilly. But I do think if we get attacked by one, for instance, the allies will just send us like, hey, do you want to join us? Should we, for instance, get attacked by the German Reich or what have you not? But on the other hand, we want to form our own faction, of course. We want to recreate Byzantium. It will be interesting going forward as a neutral. How was our construction doing? Oh, oh no, look, look, we are starting to get factories. And Albania, they, uh, well, actually have a little bit more than they should have because it was its own country and thus it could put in more effort there than normally you could put in there. And uh, build another one over here. And then we should start considering building a wee bit of naval base. And after that, probably we need to start considering building some military factories. Heck, I might push the naval base down later a little more. But with Nash of Spain so big and strong and so quickly winning of Republican Spain, it might be a very strong axis. So it's kind of... Going fascist really wasn't a bad idea, or whatever you not. Hmm. And I know that people like to see countries that go fascist, but we already tried that in the last uh, time, and, well, we got punished for it by... Mm, whatever you want to fill in there, I'm not going to, uh, well, dictate your beliefs on religion and what have you not. Um... But, uh, yeah, we got punished for it by um, the game, well, not reloading all save. So perhaps we should just take a different route. Play it a little different. As a non-aligned country, for now, and then creating our own faction. We should consider it. We should definitely consider it. That does mean that we won't go for collective ethos. Actually, I can go fascist and focus with a non-aligned party. That's interesting. It's kind of interesting, actually. But this is a Romanian focus. That's kind of interesting as well. This is democracy support. So with a Romanian focus, it's clearly that we are going to go our own faction, so to say. The Turans, by the way, is a pretty cool one. But Political Commissaris is also really f interesting. It's interesting that we can go fascism and focus while being non-aligned. Oh, and that does increase our daily fascism support, so then we will go fascist at a certain point once that happens. Like, should we take that? Hmm. But this is unique to us. Gains national split Romanity, which grants joint faction tension limits plus 100%. Like, this means that we cannot join another faction normally. Oh, and there is Anatolia. It shall be ours. Yes, indeedy. And, um... Well... Extensive conscription is kind of what I want, but we are not fascist or communist. 
So we can't go that route? Oh no, or all the following ones are true. Right, so, well, we probably can't go that route. Um, we still have expert focus. We could go to free trade. Not sure if that's wise, though. Um, oh, we just have national focus. We, d we don't have political power. Do we want to reclaim roads? No, I don't want to go to war with Italy, and I don't want to go to war with Romania right now. We really are due for this. One of the following must be true. Ooh! Well, let's go for construction effort then. Before we can get that nice extra research slot. And let's see what Turkey says to us. Ooh, close call with the Hindenburg incident. No disaster, but just a close call. And they go to war this time around. This time they do not agree with us. Alright. Oh. Oh! I said. Thank you. Well, this is going to be a lengthy war, I can tell you that already. Yo, you can uh, immediately take more provinces, thank you. Don't be standing still like some dip doo doo. Larry, what is a heck is a dip doo doo? I do not know, I just made up the word. And it sounded funny. Um, uh, okay. Can you guys perhaps, I don't know. Do your jobs. There is no one here. Just attack and take the land. Jeez. You think they would understand? Oh, by the way, we do not have our airfield planes over our airplanes over here. Do I want the airplanes over here though? Because they will get destroyed if we sent them in here. Um, you. Sorry, but I am going to direct this combat a little bit more personally. They are sending people right now. Why would you go in this province if this province is free? They are sending in the people now with strategic redeployment. So we now need to start being more careful about how we move our armies around. And we have Antalya. We'll have to see. Um, alright, our tank is stopped. That's fine. If you can go in melee into An Ankara, that would be lovely. We have gained some factories again. Dang, and never do we need them factories. Alright, Turkey did not apparently see this coming, despite the fact that this is, of course, righteous Byzantian clay. And we are going to take it all for us. And there we are already moving into Akara. That is awesome. And the last time around, we did so bloody stupid regarding how we did not hold it with our troops. Our troops just refused to hold it. But this time around, well, we are going to try and still get for Konya, because if we can get Konya quickly, Yowza! That would be awesome for us. Alright, we are being held back a little. Logically. They don't like the fact that our capital has fallen that quickly. We have more factories. Then build me more. Please, do. We could use it. This is a repetition of the War of 1920. Certainly when we're considering this alternative history, in which Greece was, well, more decisive in the victory on Turkey. Oh, you are going down and out for the count. Where are you moving? You're moving this way, which it looks like you're moving that way. Okay. I am... Will you... Thank you. That was weird. 
It's had the arrow there, but it clearly was attacking over there. That was weird. I need to be careful about this tank, though. It's getting pressured now from two sides. But I think we're all moving in. But, uh, yeah, Konya is, I believe, the place we need to conquer. And how is our manpower doing? Doing decently, actually. Ooh, We're about to lose this! That will be bad! I think it's already lost! Ouch! Turkey is putting up a defense! This time that is... a wee bit more significant than the last time around. Oh, they have a tank division over here, even. Yowza! Hmm... Where's the tank division going? Oh, they are um, returning to us, uh... This area. Alright. That is fine by me. Konya is what we need, I think, in order to make Turkey bend the knee. Are we going to make that? I do not know. Uh, actually, aren't our new units about to arrive? Well, possibly, and I kind of want them to be in a little bit more close area than uh, is useful for us. And we have more political power. So we are at war, and we can do extensive conscription. That one I like. I think my service is bad because that kind of gets construction. That kind of that gets construction speed down. So extensive conscription is what we're gonna go with, and that gives also more than enough manpower to continue these wars. And uh, you guys, you can definitely try and to well take this one province because it will guard this province as well. I think that's quite good. And, uh, well, we have not been on... Uh, we have taken this province. But, uh, saying that this war is going without a hinge or a hitch? I think without a hitch, I think the expression is. Is, uh, would be a bit uh, over-exaggerating. It is definitely, uh, difficult for us to punch through with ease. I do think we are definitely winning. I I think I should get my airplanes over here. I I am being an idiot. But I kind of feel like I only would lose planes. We already like lost ton of planes, but uh, let's go here. Standing by. Alright, they are flying over Asia Minor. Because we did not have any ground support and we did not have any, uh, well, air dominance. And we don't have any air dominance right now, I assume. No, they have it. So, this is going to be bad for our planes, but this is the best we can do. Like, yeah, they're already losing uh, stuff. Ouch. But I think that will do it for this episode, and in the next episode we are going to see if we can make Turkey bend the knee. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.